in these early weeks of January, in our Gospels, we hear the story of Jesus' baptism and how that serves as a transitional moment, a pivotal moment, as it were, because Jesus translates from being his private life to his public life of preaching the kingdom of God, healing the sick, and bringing the salvation he came to bring. And Jesus' baptism needs to remind us of the importance of our own baptism. And I think for Catholics that's a huge challenge because most of us don't remember the day. We were babies, we were infants, we might have seen a picture, we might have a faded dress to look at, but that power of that day, that pivotal moment in our lives is often lost on us because it happened so long ago. But just as Jesus' baptism served as that pivotal moment, gave him his identity as the Son of God and confirmed his mission to bring the kingdom of God into the world, so we need to realize that our baptism should do the same thing for us. From the day of our baptism, we were also claimed as the beloved sons and daughters of God. On the day of our baptism, we were also given a share to continue the work of Christ, to continue his mission of bringing God's kingdom into the world. The day of his baptism, the sky opened and the voice of the Father said, This is my beloved Son. On the day of our baptism, God our Father said the same thing about us. This is my beloved Son. This is my beloved daughter. I think the challenge is, is that all of us need to reconnect to that pivotal moment in our lives to allow our baptism to transform us, to allow our baptism to give us our identity, to allow our baptism to give us the purpose of our lives as well. For as we celebrate Jesus' own baptism and remember what a difference and a change that made in him, let us not forget that the same thing needs to be happening in ourselves. For on the day of our baptism, we were declared as the sons and daughters of God, and we were given a share to continue to do the work of Christ. Jesus' baptism changed him forever. Can the same thing honestly be said about you and I? This is Father John, and we hope to see you soon here at Ascension.